guys, it's me, Mrs. Maine, back again to talk some more about physics. This week, what I want to do is talk to you about the concept of inertia and then play around with marbles some more. Um, I'm going to teach you how to make these really cool little tumble toys, and then I'm going to ask you to make one and then make it better. So that's what we're doing in the video. First things first, let's talk inertia. It's a cool name, huh? Inertia. Physics gets a reputation for being complicated or hard to understand, and it's not really. Um, physics, basically, is a set of simple rules that apply on and off planet everywhere all the time. The entire universe is governed by a set of very simple rules. And like I mentioned last week, if you've lived on planet Earth, you know all of these rules already, I promise. You might just not know that you know them. This week we're talking about Newton's first law of motion, uh, specifically the law of inertia. Don't worry, I'll explain. Fun side note about Isaac Newton, by the way, um, he was studying at Trinity College when he had to leave his studies because they shut down the school because of a giant plague, the Great Plague of London, 1665. So he went home to his parents' house and like quarantined. And while he was there for almost a year in quarantine, uh, he invented calculus, uh, also played around with optics, and uh, he sat <laughs> underneath that famous apple tree in the story and thought about gravity. Oh, and if you don't know the story, um, here's a quick clip. concept we haven't really thought about. And side note to my side note, the rules of physics we're learning today are called Newtonian physics, like named after Isaac Newton, Newtonian physics. Sometimes they're called Newton's laws of motion, um, but they're like your basic every day, I'm going to pick up this pen and drop it and it's going to fall, basic physics. Nothing fancy like particle physics. So, um, these rules have always been around, even before Isaac Newton, but he was the first one to sort of write them down and play around with them a little bit to see what the limits were. So let's get started. So the law of inertia, Newton's first law of motion, there are only three. Newton's first law of motion is that an object that's still wants to stay still unless something interferes with it. And an object that's moving wants to stay moving unless something interferes with it. The formal way to say this is an object at rest tends to stay at rest, an object in motion tends to stay in motion unless some force interferes. It sounds complicated, but bear with me. Uh, I'm going to take this pen and set it down on my desk. If I went away for an hour and came back, the pen should be still on the desk right where I left it unless some force interfered, right? Um, if I roll a marble, the marble will just keep rolling forever until something stops it. Something like friction slows it down or, um, I don't know, someone steals it <laughs> or it hits something and has to stop. Something gets in its way. Um, this is a law that you definitely understand. If you set something down and nothing moves it, then it'll still be there where you left it. I told you, physics isn't complicated, it's pretty basic. Here's where the fun marble toy comes in. You can make a little marble toy like this that takes advantage of the laws of inertia. Ah! And it tumbles. Oops, it tumbles a lot until something stops it, like, again, my desk. Uh, we can also talk a little bit about friction because if the ramp is too steep, did you see it slide there? If the ramp is too steep, it doesn't tumble, it slides. 
is it false? Oh boy, I um I have had a little too much fun with this toy today. Last week when you were working on marble racing, you wanted to reduce the friction as much as possible, right? You wanted uh, as little friction as you could possibly have because the less friction, the faster the marble went. But uh, there's such thing as not enough friction too. If uh, you don't have a little bit of friction, this tumble toy will slide instead of tumbling. Uh, like if it's really steep, it slides. It doesn't tumble, it's no fun. So you're looking for a balance. There are a couple of ways to make this thing have just enough friction, and I'll talk about that later. You can add something or you can just not make the ramp as steep. Uh, try not to get mem mesmerized by the insanely cool nature of this little thing. So our tumble toy is just a little piece of paper, and there's a marble in the bottom. The paper is rounded on two sides. It's kind of oval shaped. And here you have Newton's first law of motion in action, or non-action, I guess. It's an object at rest, and it's going to stay at rest until some force, me, I'm the force, until some force acts on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little shove, and I'm also going to tilt, whoop, oh, <laughs> I'm also going to tilt the board a little bit. You can shove it, uh, but if it's not a hard shove, then it doesn't go very far. So a force is acting on it, right? I'm just going to push it and it rolls over and then it stops. The reason it stops is other forces are acting on it. A little bit of friction, a little bit of um, air pushing back, like when we talked about drag. Uh, so I'm going to add more forces. I'm going to add me shoving it and I'm also going to add a little tilt, so I'm adding gravity pulling at it too. And then it's in motion. It wants to stay in motion until something stops it. In this case, this like, this object gets in its way. Um, so object at rest, staying at rest, force acts on it. Now it's an object in motion, staying in motion until some other force acts on it. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to make one of these little things and tell you all the ways I did it wrong so that you won't make those mistakes. And then I'm going to ask you to take this little, um, little contraption and improve upon it, make it extra awesome. So you're going to need a marble, tape, scissors, and a piece of paper. You need the marble because you have to measure and fold a strip of paper just a little bit bigger than your marble. Fold it over four times so you have four of them, right? One, two, three, four, and then cut off the rest. By the way, um, this video is shot at like double speed. Don't really work this fast. Anyway, uh, then you tape it together so you have like a little paper tube. Look at that, see? Boop. Then you're going to cut along the four corners. Oh, uh, it doesn't need to be a long tube, so get rid of the extra if it's going to bug you. It drives me crazy. Cut along all four edges and then peel them back kind of like a little banana. Oh, look at that. You're going to cut one of those off, clip, and then you're going to put tape on the one directly across from it and fold it over and tape it so you have that nice curved shape. There we go. Taping is tricky, by the way. Look at that. Nice, round, curved shape. Then uh, you're going to cut those other two strips so they're curved as well. If you're lazy like me, you can just cut them. If you want them looking a little neater, you might want to just lay it down and lightly trace the curve with a pencil before you cut it out. Then you tape them. Um, this, I think, is the hardest part, is the taping the curved bits. Try just uh, not to make the tape interfere with the curve. Um, cut off any bits that are kind of in your way and don't worry about taping it super securely because the marble's not going to get out. Uh, then you're going to do the exact same to the other side. Peel it back, curve it over. Watch here while I forget to put the marble in. Oof, awkward. Uh, it's a beautiful curve though, isn't it? Look at that. Just lovely. Here's the part where I realize I've forgotten to put in the marble. Oh no! <laughs> Um, anyway, then uh, you cut the curves again and tape it. Oh, look, see, it rolled a little bit just as I set it down. It doesn't need a lot. If, like I said, the tape is sticking up, make sure to um, cut it and tuck it down. And then it'll just roll. Look at that. So your assignment this week is to make one of these little tumble toys and play around with it. Once you understand how it works and you've got the hang of them, you need to make another one and modify it. 
So just change it up, make it more awesome. Maybe you want to change the shape and the design so that um, it's a tube and it doesn't have these square edges, or maybe you want to modify it so it'll, it will hold two marbles or three marbles or five marbles. Maybe you want to make a really big one uh, that uses a bouncy ball or a tennis ball or a beach ball, although I don't think a beach ball is heavy enough, but you could try it, it would be very cool. Um, I added a little bit of sandpaper to one side of my tumble toy to give it a little bit more friction, a little bit more grip, so that it will roll down a steeper um, incline. I don't know. Um, once you've modified it, once you've made it especially awesome, you've created a new tumble toy. So first of all, name it, because you've discovered something new and you get to name it. And also take a picture or a video and send it to me. I would love to see what you guys have tried, what worked, what didn't work, what was super cool. Um, and I'll talk to you guys all again next week.